Now, printing is available from the Backstage view, which is accessed by the File tab. So once in the Backstage, we notice we have a print option. And you'll find a variety of things available to you within the print. If we want to control which areas of the presentation we're going to print, we can use this section. And you'll notice you're going to have a variety of options that are by default available to you, such as print all the slides, print only selection, current slide, custom range. But you also have the ability to work with sections that you've defined within your presentation, which comes in pretty handy. Now, as far as what format to print the slides in, you can have a normal printout of the slide itself. You can have a printout of a note page, and you can see the mock-up on the right. Note pages allow you to take a slide and create and uh, capture notes about it. These are ideal for if you have a hard copy that you're distributing with your presentation. Personally, I actually like to use uh, multiple slides on my note pages. I will generally go with three slides on my note pages. And then finally, if you just want to circulate the outline, once again, if you are one of these thinkers who organizes your thoughts this way, it's a good way to be able to print this out and then review things and come back to the uh, application and make your changes. We have the ability to change collation. We can change the orientation of our presentation to landscape or to portrait, and then select whether or not we want color, grayscale, and such. Also, you'll notice there's a handy link to opening up the header and footer. So if you decide at the last moment with this particular one, you want to include the date so you know that it, when, it, when it was printed, you can turn that on. So it's a shortcut to get to that. Now, let's jump over and take a look at proofing tools now. We'll jump back into the presentation. We'll go to the review ribbon. And we'll see that we have proofing tools up in the left. If I perform a spelling check, I'm going to notice some of the spelling problems that I introduced into the presentation. We see that uh, I fat-fingered coverage, and we have a recommended change here. I can go ahead and accept that by hitting the Change button. In incremental, I fat-fingered that one as well, or we'll just say I intentionally introduced an interesting change. Our spell check is complete. Now, if I want, if maybe I'm somebody who misspells things very frequently and I want to be able to catch that more readily without having to go through the spell check, if I go to the backstage and I go to options, I can pull up the proofing tools in the autocorrect dialog and I can start looking for things that I would commonly misspell. I think, personally, I think compat, compat, Stability, and I might even have these in the wrong direction. Compatibility, I think, is the proper spelling of it. I do that one all the time. So I'll go ahead and add that one in. So you see you can have the ability to tailor the proofing tools to best support your normal working patterns. So with that, I'm going to give you a chance to try your proofing tools now.